A snow day isn't gonna stop me from getting good food, so here's another wonderful food day in my hometown Tianjin, China. I start breakfast with my first cup of coffee and a dessert I picked up from Holly Land yesterday. This is a taro lover stream, so good, what a wonderful start. And then we head out, it's really snowing, but we have to walk to the subway station. And once you make it to the subway station, you are safely indoors from the snow. Because if you're going to a popular large indoor facility like a mall, chances are the subway is connected to the mall. So once you scan out of the gate, you go from indoor subway to indoor building. This is Wenxiang Cheng, the mix, and whatever this art installation is, it's um interesting. Anyways, I'm eyeing my second coffee, so we're here at M stand. I'll have a separate video on this coffee experience. We got a flat white and a crunch chocolate cookie latte. This cookie latte is quite pricey at $5.58, but it's just really interesting. And then I took the rest of my flat white to go because I really wanted to explore. Of course, when I see a Lego store, I have to go into the Lego store. And right outside, they have this huge Lego display of the earth, which is so cool. We head upstairs with a view of the backside of this pink man. Whoops. And after seriously scouting for lunch options, we decided to go for Ding Tai Fung. And I saw a beef and cheese dumpling, but didn't have the guts to try it. So we got a seaweed and bean curd salad, a hot and sour soup, which is so warm and hearty. This is the house special spicy wonton. And of course, you have to get the Xiao Long Bao. This is a classic. Look at this beautiful one mission and star Xiao Long Bao. It is just perfect. And then for dessert, I got the sesame dumpling in sweet rice wine, which is not available in the States. This is kind of like a super soft mochi, which is so good. And then they gave us free second dessert, which is like a sweet red bean soup, and it concludes a wonderful lunch. And then we people watch a little bit before we head downstairs to the supermarket with a huge bakery section. Swiss rolls are so popular right now. There are so many flavors to choose from, but then I see taro and I just couldn't resist. And then we saw Hagenas ice cream hot pot. Yeah, that's a thing. And right before we left, we stopped by this boba place that also sells bread. And I saw this bread that has ube and taro in there. I have to Try. And then we took the subway home and picked up olden on the way back. And this is dinner. We have stir-fried cabbage, my mom's braised beef, and some olden. This is a shrimp ball I didn't try last time. It's really good. And this is a prosperity pouch that has tofu skin on the outside and fish roll on the inside. And then for dessert, this is the ube taro double stuff bun. The center purple is ube and the paler purple is taro. The bread itself is so fluffy and it kind of tastes like milk bread. The filling is generous with best part of both ube and taro. It is so good, sweet, but not too sweet. I would definitely buy again. It was such a wonderful day of so many good eats. I hope you have a wonderful day as well. Please follow for more adventures. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much much for watching.